I remember my mother saying to me, she says, you know, Denzel, you, you do a lot of good, but it's time for you to do good the right way. And she said, and you know what I'm talking about. And she said, you know, you can't buy your way into heaven. <laughs> Not that I was trying to, but I, I have, you know, I, I'm a giver. I always have been, helped build a lot of things. But I never forgot that. And I knew, you know, on my journey, and we all have our individual journeys, that I wasn't where I needed to be yet, but I knew I was on the right track. And and even before that day, you know, my own search through books like Sid Arthur, mm-hmm. you know, Herman Hesse, affected me tremendously in, in my youth, and the Bible did. And, and so you 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 have that that moment, that knock from the horse moment, if you will. But it doesn't mean that the rest of your life is going to go the way it should. You know, it's not like, oh, I had this moment. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. Now everything's going to be great. Yeah, yeah. Be no, perfect. No. And, oh, boy. And, and, you know, and you know this. because you I'm a witness. All the I'm time. a witness. The buddy. next day, I'm ready to save everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm in charge of saving people, you know. Uh, uh, Ruth Green was a, a, a woman who was known to have the gift of prophecy. She she lived in Mount Vernon, where I grew up. And she was a... Uh, 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 she she came to my, my mother did her hair so she was in the beauty shop uh when i was sitting in there having been kicked out of school and uh, out of college and she said that she said boy you, she said first of all somebody give me a piece of paper and she wrote down the word prophecy and she misspelled it and my mother wrote it down and she just said that you know boy you're going to travel the world and, and preach to millions of people and I, I had a 1.7 grade point average. I flunked out of college. I'm like, well, I'm not even in school. I don't, you know, do you see anything in your crystal ball about me getting back to school? <laughs> I mean, that's the way I was looking at it then. Uh, when I look at it now, I have traveled the world. If, if, if you, you know, I don't even like to talk about it, but there, 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 there are speeches or things I've done online and there are millions of viewers that, that mm-hmm. see. Mm-hmm. So, so, in that regard, what she said has come to pass, and, and but it's really about this point uh, moving forward. But uh, God is sending us a message, you know, and it's an, it's a fascinating uh, one-two punch we've had so far. The so Lord knows where we're headed, and only God knows where we're headed. So we we're being forced to deal with powers higher than ourselves, whether yeah. we like it or not. We, we better open our eyes and look at the reality of what's going on. This is, this Amen. Is not a joke. It's not a joke. 